Shivani and I founded Quirk Studio in 2013. We're an eight-year-old practice specializing in residential and commercial spaces both. We started out um, in a small garage space in Bandra and then finally we were bursting at our seams and we decided that it was time to upgrade to a larger space. While finding an office space for us, I think it was very, very imperative that we find something that not just accommodates all the functionalities, but also just kind of, you know, transports us into another world in that sense. Just like the way we design our projects, our starting point is always what we inherit from the space, by which we mean the architecture of the space. The height, the natural light that seeps in, the lovely reclaimed wood doors, which we've entirely retained. We've kept the nameplate of the owner of the home. We try to not you know, touch too many things and just restore it and just add to the space. Just this slightly, you know, old world charm that the space inherently has. Its unoffice like structure, I think, is its biggest highlight. We got the tiles also with the space and we loved it uh, so much that we wanted to kind of retain it. Uh, what we did change was all the flooring inside that you're seeing. We could very easily manage to juxtapose pieces of furniture in the space. It was a space that we could very easily layer. It has a small garden outside, uh, which is very rare in Bombay. As you come in, we have this really amazing sort of holding off veranda area. I think my favorite part definitely has to be where I'm sitting right now. It's the comfortable day bed right by the window, great for brainstorming, sometimes even casual client meetings. We have music playing sometimes, there's coffee, it's conversations, and of course there's a desk where you feel inspired by just sitting out and looking out at the window. As you enter the office space, there's a large, you know, open desk workstation area for our entire team to sit. The highlight there is our neon sign by our friends at Amar Signs. It says La La Land and it defines what we'd like the space to be, our own little dream bubble. We brought in some fun pieces of art from Art and Found. We've just got them on board to help us with curating some of the pieces for us. The space is very bare and minimum, so we wanted to bring colour through art, and I think some of the pieces just do absolute justice to that. The one that's in our cabin is a print from Bibi Doshi. We're a huge fan of his work. Unfortunately, we kind of got the space ready just when uh, the second lockdown hit. And I can't tell you how excited we were to come back uh, the moment things opened up. It's very hard to replace a collaborative office environment. Not only just Shivani and me, I think the team really looks forward to coming into the space in the morning. With the years that will go by and um, you know we'll spend more time in this space, I feel that we'll keep adding on layers because that's the beauty of this space. I think it has potential to kind of keep evolving with time and that's what I think this space is going to be for us.